Hey everyone, this is Dawn and welcome back to my channel. So I am coming on tonight um, to do another journal with me. And uh, I thought, um, I had a few minutes, so I thought I would um, do maybe the center um, portion in this um, traveler's notebook, which I recently purchased from uh, Cheaply Chic Boutique on Etsy. And um, if you're familiar with Lynette, who is Cheaply Chic uh, here on YouTube, and I have been a subscriber of hers for a long time, and she uh, makes beautiful, beautiful journals. So I recently purchased this um, traveler's notebook, and I was so inspired by her decorating in it that um, I thought I would do that. I'm not necessarily a journaler per se, but um, I really loved um, her decorating in her traveler's notebook, and I was really inspired to do that. So I recently purchased this and then um, she had some um, goodies that came in this as well. So there's a, um, a little gift sack here that I'm going to work with this evening. There was this little button that I cut out and um, um, I went to punch the holes here and I actually realized I grabbed a little heart punch. So it kind of came out a little wonky. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that or not. But inside this little bag or some little elements, so like some journaling cards and some guest checks and some coupons and this sweet little card. So um, I thought I would go ahead and work with some of the pieces that came with the kit. And then in addition, and then I've got my own things that I'm adding to it as well. And then I recently picked up this paper pad at Tuesday morning called the Bright Side. It's a six by six paper pad and um, the rain boots um, are what the cover is and this March theme is called Grow Girl and I just love the florals and the colors and the rain boots of course was so perfect so um, I've been using that paper pad um, a little bit to work in here and I'm going to use a little bit of it tonight so um, I had um, so I did a, a journal with me the other night and I'll leave that um, linked in the uh, I'll leave that video um, link below it was about an hour and I had so much fun creating um, in there so one of the things that I did off camera so when I finished this flash card up the other night which is a tuck spot um, uh, it was plain and I had just glued this portion of a tree on so let's see let me see if I can find the page <laughs> How is it that you can never find what you're looking for when people are watching you? There you go. So I glued in this tree the other night, and I actually had cut this out from this book I recently picked up at Goodwill, which was like 59 cents. And when I saw this tree, oh my gosh, and then there's some other adorable images in this book. So I had actually cut this out of the book, and then um, there were some pieces left over. So um, let's go back here. So on here, um, I had glued this one um, portion that I had cut off the other side. So then I went back and uh, cut out another branch. So I glued this here and I glued this here. And then I took my little speckle stamp, sp um, stamped all over it. And then I had um, stamped the word bloom. This is an old Stampin' Up stamp. And um, I'd stamped the word bloom and it did not come out great. So I actually just came back over the top and added this little um, fishtail, made a little banner there and added that back up over my boo-boo. And then on this flashcard as well, there, this is a seven over 10 fraction. And um, there was the black um, separator here, you know, the, divide, the division line. And I actually just added a strip of gold washi to it. So I like how that came out. So I added a little more um, to it. And then, um, I took the rest of that branch that I cut out and um, I actually glued it to the front of this little sack. So I might end up doing something else, I think, on here, but for now, you know what? I was just sitting here looking that I've got some of these gold word stickers and I think these came from the Dollar Tree. I was just looking. This word is called gorgeous and then there's I'm going to add this word sticker here and I'm going to add some art glitter glue to it. Oh my gosh, a lot of that came out. I was having trouble with my glue the other night too. <laughs> All right, I am going to add this word sticker here that says gorgeous because you know what? That tree is gorgeous. So I'm really having fun. I'm sorry, I've got the pin for my art glitter glue. 
in my mouth while I was talking. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put a little word sticker. I might end up doing something else to that. But for now, that is good. And then, um, so tonight what I thought I would do is decorate the center page. So I've got this little um, paper bag that these elements were in here. So I thought I would fold it in half. And this is the center. And uh, I thought I would kind of come around like this and make it where it's um, the bag where you can tuck something inside and also leave it open as a pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I've also got, oh, I should have already done this, um, some antique linen distress ink that I think, let's see, this bag is pretty thin. I'm going to go ahead and um, ink up these edges just a little bit give it a little bit of dimension. Um, I want to um, not use a darker brown tone normally. I would probably use some vintage photo or some tea dye or something like that, but I really wanted to keep this on the lighter side, and I really wasn't even sure if I was going to um, ink up the edges or not, but it felt, it felt like I needed to, so I've been using this um, antique linen. It's not my favorite shade, but it adds a little something to it. So I'm also going to add a little bit of this ink to this ticket right here. Okay, that gives it a little bit of color. And I like to always give a little bit of ink on the edges, and I hope I'm in frame. All right, good enough. I have one of those Tim Holtz re-inker tools, but I've always used one of those little yellow artist sponges and cut it up and it works for me. All right, so I am going to, um, I think I'm gonna glue one side and then the other. So let us take the art glitter glue and then here, it's a little bit thinner on the top, so I'm going to glue more of this down up here at the top. Okay, so this is the first side. And I think I want to bring it down just a touch. I just want to make it sure it's snug up on there. All right, let's hold this down for a second. Okay, that's kind of cool. And then it will be a, oop, dropping my journaling card, like a little tuck spot here. So, yeah. All right, so let's go over and do the other side. Okay. Gonna give a generous portion up here again because it's um, just where um, the bag ends here and then it's here and this is a pretty thin material so I want to make sure it's glued down well so it won't tear. All right, and around here on the second side. All right, now we have two pockets and two tuck spots, and I'm going to leave this ticket right on the bag, right where it is, and I'm gonna reinforce that with a little bit of glue behind it. Okay, and my pin is right here. So what I thought I would do, and these here are pretty long spots, so I was going to create like two tags to go in these bags which I started and um, you know it'd be really nice if I could see them right now oh, I hid them all right so here gosh this is about eight and a quarter inches and uh, this is a double-sided paper so um, this again is eight and a quarter inches and I went ahead and inked up the edges with that um, mm, antique linen color it's called and then I have this little corner punch I've had this forever it's from Stampin Up and it's just a little tag punch if you don't have this just take your scissors and cut off one edge and then I'll flip it over and cut off the other um, edge and for some reason that is not punching well there we go okay so I've got my two little 
um, edges punched. Yeah, yeah, like I said, if you don't have something like that, just use your scissors. And then um, I have a hole punch here. So we'll, this one I hit, I went ahead and did up. So that one here, I just did my little ticket punch on the corners. I've got a hole here. I've got some, um, or a hole punch, I should say. I've got some of these Heidi Swap um, hole reinforcer stickers. I love these things. I also have a hole reinforcer punch, but since I have these things on hand, and then I used some of this green, bright green, um, oh gosh, what do you call this? Eyelash trim. And uh, I thought that would coordinate nicely with the journal here. So I am just going to not use ribbon, but just use this um, eyelash trim straight on. And then this is kind of long, so I'm gonna trim this over my trash can because it kind of gets everywhere just to trim those edges down or the length of the eyelash trim down, I should say. All right. And then some of these little fibers will be poking out the top. <laughs> got some eyelash trim everywhere. So um, I've got one of these for each side. And so this is the front. I recently picked up, oh my goodness, I can't tell you the name of these papers. They're from a DCWV set a stack I recently got a Tuesday morning where they're double sided. So I thought that was great. Um, and I think. Um, I'm going to use this lighter one here. Really doesn't matter. And then I'm going to flip the page and then use this one right here. And I cut these down to about, I think, oh, eight and a quarter, and I think they're about two and a quarter, but then I did come back and cut off an eighth of an inch. So I have a couple of nice tags there. So that's kind of cool. I like how that came out. And then from my paper pad here, um, I went ahead and pulled out um, the rain boots um, and I thought I would make a pocket here. I'm wondering if I want to add anything else to this. I feel like I want some um, color or something here at the top. Something else. The other night I really kind of thought about knew what I was going to be doing. Tonight I'm not as sure. Maybe. I'm wondering if I want to add a doily. Give that a pop of color. Oh yeah. I think we're going to do that. Okay, so, and what's on the other side of this? Anything? Ooh, okay but I'm not, I can cut this off or I can wrap it around. That is what I am thinking. So let's see how far. I'm okay with that wrapping around. That is kind of cute. And then let's see here. Oh, I like that, okay. I'm just trying to get my placement. So, all right, that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna add this nice pop of pink doily. So I think, just like that paper bag, I'm gonna glue one side and then the other. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with this side. All right, so I think in this case, I might use the fabric fix. I use the art glitter glue sometimes, and I love both of these glues, um, but sometimes I know that um, this is not, this is acetone based, not water based, so I'm going to give this a try tonight. Because there's a lot of little pieces get my edges down pretty good. All right, let's give that a try. Make sure I don't have two pieces together because yes, I have done that. <laughs> don't want to glue two pages together. All right. Okay, really love that pop of pink. I'm glad I decided to do something different. Okay, let's add some more of the fabric fix.
really enjoying this process. And tonight I had an idea of what I was doing, a, a rough idea, and then I was feeling less sure about it as I started, but I'm like, let's dive in. The other night I was much more sure about what I was doing, but that's okay. All right, pop that on. Oh, I like that. Okay, cool. And then, I'm gonna make sure that this dries so it doesn't glue my other elements closed. And oh, the other night we made this little tag and I didn't have any butterfly stickers near me. So I actually added this butterfly um, to it after it was completed. And um, there was actually foam tape between all the layers of the butterfly and I actually just pulled them off so it would lay um, flat so um, sometimes there used to be a time in my life where I did not think about doing things like that I always figured that I had to use them kind of how they were so sometimes if something doesn't work for you make it work for you all right and we're gonna go ahead and add in our little rain boot pocket and I had an idea of something that else that was going to go in here, but it's too big. So I might have to figure out um, later on what this pocket is going to be. All right, I probably should use the art glitter glue just now, but and I don't want to glue my pocket shut. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let me put this kind of thing in there just to make sure it's nice and open, but keep my edges closed. All right. You guys will have to let me know if you like this process. I seem to have gotten good feedback from the first one I did, which I very much appreciate um, everybody's kind comments. Um, and I know a lot of people really do like um, Lynette's channel, and I do as well. I've been going back and watching some of her journal with me. Um, okay, I just want to make sure that that does not um, glue closed. All right, so I like how that is turning out. And then I thought, I had this little journal card and I thought I'd make a little something on here, but I did not like this orange hello. And then I was wondering if I wanted to put one of these tickets on it because I really wanted to kind of concentrate on um, keep this coupon or drop this ticket in proper place. Let's do the drop this ticket. Um, I actually might want to cut this down a little bit. And I'm not sure if I have a fully developed idea of what I want for this. I also have some black and I don't want black and white. Um, da, 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 da. I had an idea for this and now I kind of lost it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I think what I'm going to do, number one, is trim this down a little bit more. And then if not, we will just go on because this is going to be a shorter video than our first one is. So I'm going to cut up, cut off about a quarter of an inch off of both sides of this journaling card. And I liked this edge of green here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and trim off that orange hello. I think I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Hmm. Could almost add like a little something up in there. Hmm. All right. Let us take our ink and I'm gonna ink this up a little bit all right I think we're gonna make this be a little pocket I think since it's so small I'm only gonna glue down these two edges here and leave this side open. So I'm going to put glue here 
And I'm gonna put glue here. Okay. All right, and then, let's see, I have a little, oh, that's cute. I punched out some of these. I have this um, kind of a primitive heart stamp that's from Stampin' Up, and this is really old. I actually found this on eBay because they weren't purchasing it anymore when I had, or selling it anymore when I had found out about it. So, all right, I'm gonna glue this little heart uh, in place here. Cute. And then I think, let's take one of these gold stickers and um, how about be happy? And I hope that's not blinding anybody. <laughs> I'm going to add a little more glue to this. All right. I really like how this is turning out. Okay, we're gonna leave that like that for now. And then, um, let's see, oh, on one of the other guest checks, I went ahead and stamped, let me find her. Some people find her creepy. My daughter, Leah, finds this <laughs> stamp creepy. Um, I, re I purchased her, I forget, not, I don't know, not too long ago, but I've never used it before. Impression Obsession um, is where she is, and the name of the stamp is called Curtsy. And I went ahead and stamped her out on um, one of these guest checks. So I had an idea. I was trying to figure out how I wanted to decorate her up. So I pulled out some of this rose trim, and I was gonna do like a few of them, but then I thought, well, that was really pretty down the whole side. But then I've got these, um, I bought this fabric not too long ago at Hobby Lobby, excuse me, and then um, I just cut it into strips. And um, I watched Lynette do like a fabric ruffle. So, this could get a little boring, and if it does, you can just skip right ahead, but I thought I would attempt to do a little bit of a fabric ruffle um, without sewing it and then gluing it down on the edge. So this is kind of trial and error. I've not done it before, and I was sitting here, and actually kind of the places where I folded it earlier has kind of stayed, so I'm kind of um, able to see where I started. So that's kind of cool. And this is just like a cream print. Oh, that's gonna look really cute, I think. Um, it's like a cream print with just um, like a little pale pink floral um, on it. Like a leaf print or something like that. I just want that to stay glued closed, which maybe it would do it better if I was actually going ahead and gluing it down. And maybe I'd need to do kind of section by section. So let's go ahead and put some glue up here. I think I like how this is looking. So this is a little bit of an experiment. <laughs> oh, my cat is putting his nose on my leg because he has decided that my chair that I sit in to craft is his, and this is his room now. <laughs> no, honey, he's got to wait, and I've got a blanket under the table for him to lay on. And that's brother. He has made his appearance before he's leaving because he's kind of miffed that I'm in his chair, I think. Or he'll just bide his time because he knows I'm going to not be in here forever. <laughs> he'll be back. <laughs> All right. I kind of like how that is looking. All right, I'm going to make another part of our ruffle here. And I'm just kind of just folding it over on itself. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Nope, that's coming undone. Oh, brother's back, he didn't leave. Down around my legs. Okay, we don't have too much further to go. And I really haven't thought beyond what I'm doing beyond this. <laughs> I'm not sure. I am really not sure. Oh, I just kind of maybe had a thought. Maybe I need some, a bow. All right, let's see. I 
think we need another ruffle in the road here. Get my glue to come out. It's getting, well, it's not getting low yet, but it's getting towards the end. All right. Okay, cool. We've created a neat little fabric ruffle. Who knew? Okay, that's kind of cool. So I'm going to trim this off and let it dry. No sew. However, that would be cool, um, folks running it through the uh, sewing machine. I bought a sewing machine last summer. It's still in the box. One day I'll get it out, but I don't know when. We'll see when inspiration strikes. I've been inspired, but you know, who knows? Okay. Oh goodness, she is sweet. Um, let's see, I have... I just wondered if I wanted to put some little... Uh, maybe maybe that's a little bit too much with her. Some little doily pieces. But that just, it kind of is a lot. I've got some gold hearts. Nope, too big, too much. Oh, I know what I'm going to do with those. Before I forget, this was a little cloud journaling card in there. We're going to make a little, um, glue those hearts on top of there. But let's see, I've got a little basket of bows. Give me one second. Let's see. I have, ooh, um, I think Veronica, and I cannot think of her name right off the top, um, her Instagram name, I'm thinking. She actually made these for me. I don't know if they're the right color. Um, Veronica from Instagram, we actually did a swap back in the fall. Let's see, let's see. I also have these black and white bows, but I think that's just too overpowering. I want something subtle, but I'm not sure what it's going to be. Do I have... I also have some of these rose rosettes, do you call them? This I got on clearance at some point at Hobby Lobby, $1.20. And I feel like it was not this this most recent Hobby Lobby. It might have been last year. Oh, look at these. They kind of go big to small. Hmm, I kind of like this color. It's a little more muted than my journal, but you know what? This journal is all about things that I like. That's interesting that these are different sizes. So I'm gonna trim this here and I'm gonna have, ooh, maybe I wanna do this. Or is this a small, a large, small? Oh, is that maybe what it, it's supposed to be? Mm -hmm, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna trim this here and I'm going to trim this here. Small, large, small, maybe. Okay, I kinda like that. All right, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to trim off some of this little extra netting, perhaps. Okay, get that side off. All right. And there's some of the strings hanging off, which... Sometimes strings hanging off, it's not my favorite thing, but it kind of gives this a little extra shabby look, which really I'm not so sure if I was going for something shabby here, but I sure like this. You have to tell me if she creeps you out or not. I think she's, I think she's kind of cute. She might be a little creepy. I don't know. <laughs> All right. I think she's really sweet. All right, let's take our Fabri-Tac. And we're going to add these flowers right onto the top of our little uh, little fabric ruffle. I'm excited. All right, I feel more inspired. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It doesn't take too much um, because I was kind of had an idea where I was going, but not really. And then I turned on this video and I'm like, I'm not sure how. 
I wasn't quite sure exactly what I was going to be doing, but I like that. All right, and then I pulled out some other word stickers here. That is just really, really sweet. Oh, you know what? I've got these little heart stickers. I got these from Target not long ago, and they were around their card section. Aren't these beautiful colors? Um, I don't know if I want one of those. I was actually thinking about my... Um, word stickers. I was going to put fabulous is what I was thinking about for her and I hope these aren't blinding you. Fabulous because I think she's fabulous um, or <laughs> it's kind of funny. However, I like the pop of gold on here. I have these, um, I think these are Tim Holtz stickers and there was some of these She Dreamed Beautiful Dreams which I kind of like that. I wonder how it's kind of a beige color. Oh, I like that. She dreamed beautiful dreams. I had a lovely time. One of these. I don't see it now. It was kind of... Oh, here it was. She was a strange little girl. I actually saw that and that was kind of amusing me. I could use that, but I'm not going to. I think I'm going to put this on here. She dreamed beautiful dreams. So let's cut. Do I want to cut? Yes. I'm gonna cut it in half. She dreamed beautiful dreams. Put a little bit of this ink on here. Well, I don't know if that's doing anything. It's kind of beige, it's kind of blending right into it. I should dig out some vintage photo, but I'm not gonna do it. I don't want to make my journal brown. <laughs> I think Jan from Jan's Crazy Life, she doesn't like vintage, she thinks it's dirty. Don't brown it up, she says. All right. She dreamed beautiful dreams. Oh, I like that. Okay. Let's put the right one on first. She dreamed. Hello. Oh, now my glue's not working. Okay. Oh, now it just smooshed out. Isn't that the way? This is real craft in here, folks. Okay, she dreamed. Beautiful dreams. I like this. I almost want some stars. I might have to find some stars. She dreamed beautiful dreams. However, I don't know if I'm going to like those with my flowers. Okay. want to add something else but I am not sure what however nothing says we can't come back and add something to her later all right um let's see is there anything else I want to do tonight and I think you know what if I put my flower on the other side I would probably like her back here oh you know what I put a little too much glue on this she is not going to fit there. I wonder, well, can heck we make a pocket for her? Let's see. Let's make a pocket for her somewhere. I was going to keep her here, but she works nicely there. But let's see. Let's see. Do I have something around me? We might have to do that another day. I'm going to leave her here for now. And the other thing I was thinking of, I want to put some hearts on here. I saw Lynette do that. I was already in my head to do that. And I was going to leave them long, but then she cut hers a little bit shorter, which I liked the idea of that. I was actually going to maybe use some of these glitter hearts, but I think I'm going to wait and find something else for that. Um, the other thing I was thinking about doing, I have this box. Um, I'm not... A huge I don't know makeup that I wear I use what I use I like what I like kind of what works for me and perfumes perfumes too I don't have a lot of perfume and kind of what I like I wear and gosh there was a couple that I used to wear in the past and usually I use more of a more of a um, bath and body works you know body sprays kind of thing however um, 
I don't know, a couple years ago, probably more than a couple years ago, we discovered this honey, Marc Jacobs. I think I was smelling things with my daughter in Sephora. She loves some Sephora. Leah likes her makeup. And um, I got, I, uh, I was like, oh, I really like that perfume. I think it was Mother's Day or Christmas or something like that. Somebody got it for me. So I'm probably on my third bottle, and I think they've actually discontinued it. And uh, I have no idea why I kept this box, but I found it when I was um, um, organizing some things. And I thought that this journal would be kind of about me and things I like. So I actually thought this might be a good pocket idea. And uh, I hope this isn't too boring. You can always speed it up a little bit. I'm trying to, there's a gold square, um, or a gold foiling around the square that I'm trying to cut as close as possible to without cutting it off. And just because it was a little crooked. Mm. Okay. That's good, and I don't know if this is a good idea for a pocket or not, and I'm not even sure if it'll fit. We might have cut this for nothing. I don't know, but let's go take a quick look. Oh, yeah, it's kind of wide. All right, so we can just kind of trim it off. Now, my question is, where are we going to put it first? Because it's going to depend on which side I'm going to... Um, cut the gold off of because it's going to come off but I think I want to leave more of the flower so let's kind of take a look um, I've just kind of been placing things in randomly that's already a little bit sturdy but I don't like this next to this gardening page I don't want it next to the yellow I don't want it next to my tree And I hope, uh oh, uh oh, see my doily sticking a little bit. I'm like, no! Let's see, what is over here? I don't want the yellow with the pink. Do I want this in here now? That is the question. <laughs> okay, I think, I think, I think. You know what? I kind of do like it next to this yellow. Hmm. All right, we are going to then put this pocket do I actually no nope, I don't want it on okay I'm going to trim off a little bit of this side and make it a pocket so I'm gonna take off maybe a half an inch let's take a look I'm gonna start with a quarter and then trim it down a little bit because I don't want it get to get too small I'm assuming I'll definitely have to oop, let's see am I on the right side Yes. Okay. Now let's see it. And this is a pretty thick cardboard. Ooh, that's pretty good. I'm gonna take off now about an eighth. I'm glad I did not cut that a whole half an inch smaller. So I'll add an eighth. And I think that would be good. Oh, okay. I like that. I don't want this to be too chunky, but I thought that was kind of cool. All right, so. I, I was going to say, do I want that to be a flip out? Nope. Um, maybe I do want it to be a flip out. No, nope, I'm going to, hmm, you know what I'm going to do? Be I'm going to make it like a, I'm going to leave this side open where it's more of a tuck, I think. If I want to go back and glue that in, I always could. So I'm going to glue it along this edge and the bottom. And leave the rest and I kind of like this poppy yellow I'm glad I saved this because I am not one to save I know a lot of crafters that I watch they're really good at reusing recycling but I have so many craft supplies that oh my heavens me saving cardboard boxes and things that will be a whole other thing let me tell you <laughs> all right I kind of like how that is and I'm not sure what's gonna go in there but for today, we have a pocket. All right. 
I think that is probably where we are going to end um, today. Oh no, let's do our little hearts on our little clouds. We're gonna do that on the little cloud card. Oh, actually I need this glue. All right, let's set this over here. Um, I have, I love gold foil paper. I love gold foil paper and I love gold glitter paper. And this is a little journaling card. So I am gonna make this um, a little, um, put these hearts right on the top so it'll make it like a little um, pull spot. So, I'm going to put this on this side, in the center, I think that's the center, all right, let's add glue to get those edges, all right. I hope my head's not up in the camera. Huh, I wish I looked at the side of the card first. I might have covered it with something. Not to say that I still couldn't, and I'm kind of getting glue on my gold heart. Okay. All right, that's pretty cute. Definitely gonna have to do something about the back of that, but. All right, we are just gonna go ahead and, will that fit in here? It surely does. All right, we're gonna leave that in there for now. All right, I'm not, these things I'm definitely gonna be moving around a lot because I think this is very bright and then this is very um, kind of more dusky and shabby. I love these little rain boots here, or actually maybe I'll find something else to put in here, but, I hope you have enjoyed uh, journaling right along with me. Um, thanks for stopping by and watching. Please uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave me a comment. Let me know how um, you are liking um, this kind of journal uh, with me thing I'm doing. Um, so um, thank you again and um, until next time.